if you're looking for the best dual screen laptop in the market right now, this is it. Look no further. This is the 2024 version of the Asus ZenBook Duo that now features two full-size 14-inch OLED displays instead of the screen and a half of the previous version. But that alone doesn't make it the best in this category. It has a lot of key features that may seem simple but make a huge difference when it comes to the real-world experience. And that all starts with this keyboard. Because one of the things that I absolutely love about the new ZenBook Duo is that if you see it in its plain traditional laptop mode, you wouldn't think it was packing two displays. It's not significantly thicker than most of the laptops that I've used before because Asus has seamlessly integrated the detachable keyboard incredibly well into this form factor. You see, other laptops with dual screens, while also impressive, have you carry around their detachable keyboard separately, which can spell disaster for a tito like me, since sometimes I also forget if I've taken my maintenance meds, even if I'm still holding the packaging. Another thing that I really thought was genius and sets this detachable keyboard apart is that it has pogo pins that charge it up. I know, right? Yun lang impress kina, and the answer is yes. I was impressed because while it's something simple, it's a very elegant solution since the main competitor to the ZenBook Duo has you charge the keyboard via USB C separately. So, guess who also forgets to charge that keyboard? This tito right here. Parang kailang ko na ata mag memo gold plus based on this script. Who is the sponsor? Just kidding. No, they're not the sponsor, pero bakalaman. So, again, great integration into the form factor, and you don't have to worry about charging up the keyboard, but how does it feel to type on? Honestly, not very different from your standard 14-inch laptop. There's hardly any flex or give to it considering how thin it is, so whether you're using this in your usual laptop layout or you have it in dual screen mode, it does make for a pleasant typing experience, especially since you have a wrist rest, backlight, and an integrated trackpad that, again, its competitor doesn't have. Okay, keyboard is great. I've talked about that enough. What about those 14-inch OLED displays. How are they? Again, 14 inch OLED displays, 16 by 10 aspect ratio at 2880 by 1800 resolution, 120 hertz refresh rate, which is more than enough for a productivity based laptop. It also has fantastic color accuracy, 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, plus it's VESA certified as well. So whether you're working or taking a quick YouTube break, each of the screens gets a thumbs up. So two thumbs up. Aside from that, it's also what ASUS was able to bring to the table to make these dual displays really useful and not just for flexing when you're working next to someone at a coffee shop. First, you have that built-in kickstand. It's made out of metal, extremely sturdy, and big bonus, it means that you have a better angle for the built-in webcam. But the kickstand plus the rubber feet on the ZenBook Duo means that you also don't have to worry about the whole setup being flimsy or easily knocked down. Now we all know having multiple screens can help with productivity. Now usually for me, having one display means I have to cycle through tabs for references or I have to squint because two tabs are sharing the same display and that's definitely not the case here. You have all the conveniences of having dual monitors in a slightly bigger form factor compared to the standard 14-inch laptop. Asus also made it possible to orient the Duo in what they call desktop mode, where the displays have more vertical real estate. Honestly, for me, I don't have much use for this mode. Maybe if you're a coder, you do. Or if you just need to really backgrade and that juicy T on your GCs, that would probably make it easier. But having that option is definitely a good thing. They also made an app so you can really take advantage of the benefits of having multiple screen, aptly named Screen Expert. Here you can do things like change the brightness on either display independently, see the actual battery life of your detachable keyboard, and so on and so forth. But this also gives you access to things like sharing mode, which is great if you're having a one-on-one -on -one presentation or if you need to get quick work done while you're out and you don't want your wife to get bored, you can have a second screen on Netflix. Screen Expert also gives you access to what ASUS is calling task groups. So if you have specific programs or windows that you use all of the time, you can create groups for them and the app will capture the group and launch them within a few taps. So again, simple and elegant solutions by ASUS so you can really maximize the ZenBook Duo. So just in case you're wondering, what if the keyboard runs out of battery or it's low bat and you still have to charge it? Yes, you can charge it via USB-C, but also remember, both those screens are touch capable and you can summon a virtual keyboard on the lower screen if you really need to use it. 
Now, all you have to do is tap on the screen with six fingers and that's it. You have a virtual keyboard, which also has multiple layouts. So if you just want to use the bottom part of the screen, just swipe down and you can even turn on a virtual trackpad if you need it. Then you also have access to several apps via screen expert, like the control panel, which is contextual, meaning it will change depending on what program is being used, handwriting recognition, and a numpad if your job is mostly crunching numbers. So again, Asus really has you covered so you can maximize the ZenBook Duo with apps like this. So keyboard is great, screens are great. What about the internals? Are they good too? Short answer is absolutely. Now there's only one configuration for the ZenBook Duo. It has an Intel Core Ultra 7 processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and one terabyte of storage. Now with the usual productivity tasks we do at Unbox and some light photo editing, it performed really well and the benchmarks really show how good these new crop of Intel processors are, especially when it comes to their multi-core scores. Now, if you're looking to game, you'll have to adjust your expectation since that's not what this laptop was built for. But for lighter titles like Eastward, Dave the Diver, you should be okay if you're just going to be killing time. Now, in terms of battery life, the 75 watt hour battery of the ZenBook Duo was able to last 5 hours and 22 minutes with our video loop test. What happens when you need to top it up? Usually, you'd have to contend with a power brick that's this big. Now, this is the charger for the G14. It's a lot smaller for a gaming laptop, but let me show you what the charger looks like for the ZenBook Duo. That's it. That's even smaller than some smartphone chargers these days. That's it. And it's not even particularly heavy. So if you're worried about saving space or worried about the space in your backpack, this is it. And of course, it's USB-C cable, but that's a charger for a dual screen laptop. So obviously, we really think that Asus hit the nail on the head with the ZenBook Duo. The screens are great. You have all you need to make the user experience fantastic from the detachable keyboard, the kickstand, and the screen expert app that helps you maximize those two displays. But how much is it? And is it worth it? In the Philippines, the Asus ZenBook Duo 2024 is priced at 129 995 pesos. Six figures. I know that's still a lot, but I was honestly expecting it to be a lot more expensive around the 170k range. So for me, this is a solid deal for a dual screen laptop. Don't get me wrong, it's not gonna be for everyone. Again, if you're a gamer, look at the Asus G14. I love that laptop line, but if you're the mark for this, if you're looking for the best of the best dual screen laptops in the Philippines right now, this makes a strong case and at least to me, is absolutely worth it given that context. And I'm really wondering if you guys agree with me. Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. My name is Tito James. Peace, God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next video.